Hello and welcome to Premier League Predictions Week 8 where we have the following 10 games on screen to give a score and we'll be, as always, reflecting on those scores. Uh, talking of reflection, let's look at last week and we did pretty well. All them yellow blocks there but we did have that big fat exact score there, Everton Man City bringing our total this season up to 6 which um, I don't really know how to call it. Let's look at you guys. Robert broke our record. We've got three exact scores this week. Congratulations to him. In fact, overall, people did really well. A um, couple of blanks though there, uh, but well done, Robert, on this page. On page two, uh, no one beat Robert, but certainly um, we've got a lot of ticks on there. So, uh, Football Fan AR, Thomas Welch, uh, How to Win Bet Daily, and uh, Max, Dan Bundy, and See the Great Moment. Well done to all you, uh, and thank you to everyone who has sent in their predictions. It does mean a lot, and uh, congratulations for getting so many right this week, guys. Uh, let's, without further ado, uh, get to the predictions, shall we? Uh, first game, Brighton, Tottenham. I've gone for a 2-1 away win. I think Tottenham, they'll be wanting to recover from their thrashing against Bayern. They're against Brighton, who themselves have been uh, not as good, uh, not as good form. 2-1 away could be the score. Burnley, Everton. Everton are on poor form this season and I think that will continue actually. Burnley, they seem quite strong at home. They're fairly consistent uh, for sure. Uh, I think 2-0 could be a justifiable score here. Everton may be in danger on this game. Liverpool, Leicester, what a clash this will be. Top four finish uh, possibly uh, for Leicester as well on the card. Well, it's a bit early, isn't it? But 3-1, Anfield, streak. Liverpool, they've been on some streak, haven't they? And I think Leicester, they do have the opportunity uh, to take that streak, but uh, I don't think it will happen. The Canaries take on Villa. It's a tricky game to predict. I've gone for 2-2. Villa... They have be they picked up one win uh, so far, and um, Norwich they last at time at home beat City. Can they do something again? Who knows? Watford take on Sheffield, and uh, I think Sheffield will actually come away with a point, uh, three points here. Uh, that's Sheffield United, the Blades. I think uh, they'll they'll do that once the they kind of grind out the one 0 win, and I think they'll be really pleased with that. Now this one is West Ham Palace. Both teams have picked up three clean sheets each this season which is pretty impressive uh, West Ham though they've scored consistently of two goals each game uh, lately and I think it will actually be a nil-nil here it's a tricky game to predict as soon as someone scores it's buggered but nil-nil Arsenal to beat Bournemouth Bournemouth have been doing a lot better than I probably predicted but they're against um, I'll go call them Spurs sorry uh, Arsenal who at home are pretty decent and I think they will continue their goal scoring form 3-1 uh, that brings us to City, Wolves, Wolves finally picking up their first win, could kickstart their season. Uh, I don't think though, this is a tricky game to try and carry on that form. Again, City, they're not on form side, aren't they City? And I think at home as well, they'll, they'll get, they'll bring the goals in. Chelsea uh, to beat Southampton 2-1. Uh, Chelsea have been doing good lately. Uh, I think they will uh, get another routine win here against Hazen Hoople's side. Uh, it's normally close though when Southampton play top six sides, uh, normally by one goal margin. Newcastle, Man United. Man United have done really poor at home, away, sorry. Uh, Newcastle, uh, Newcastle. Um, <laughs> I've actually gone for a 1-1. It's the type of game where not many people will be expecting it. And I think Man United with their way form, this could be another banana skin game for them. Anyway, uh, without further ado, that is it. Thank you for watching, if indeed you still are. Make sure you comment down all your predictions. We'll be reviewing them as well uh, at some point. But until then, bye-bye.